Yes, DJ. Mm -hmm. You know that, generally speaking, especially in the past, mm -hmm. you know, people have looked down at dancehall DJs many times. Calling some people illiterate, some mm -hmm. people don't, you know, and thing and thing. Mm -hmm. You furthered your education. I don't remember exactly which year you got the scholarship, but you got a scholarship to in Sunderland a, a, University. Mm, yeah, in about in the UK. In about 06 that about was. 06. Yeah. And you know, it's 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 interesting that you mentioned that because I remember one of the things that, you know, stood out to me growing up and, you know, as I tell you from when the first DJ contest and thing there. And the kind of, you know, respect and adoration that, you know, I have for the art farm and then of course the practitioners that me as the man them have some genius and some wizards and then you know, for the most part, the perception and the stigma and the stereotype is that, you know, as far as some people can say, it's a bunch of noise makers. And that used to, you know, really hurt me. Um, mm -hmm. Because I'm here they may talk about, and, you know, and I can appreciate their genius. Like, what are you talking about? You, you see this thing where the man yeah, does sing, what you talking about, you know? <laughs> but, um, so, you know, understanding that, you know, the conversation I'm going to talk about, I'm with myself, apart from representing um, myself in a way that it would be in alignment with my values and my upbringing and all these things. Another thing was also almost conduct, mis conduct myself like somebody who have sense mm -hmm. to represent the music and represent the fact that no, 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 I know, you know, it's not, you know, I don't know, as it, you know, educational rejects and them kind of thing there. So that was important. So absolutely when the opportunity for the scholarship came about, one of the reasons why I did it was to that end, to, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, underscore the fact that, uh, you know, you can choose a career in reggae and dance hall and it is not just, oh, if everything else failed, this was just this kind of, um, you know, escape route, yes. so to speak. Um, and, you know, interestingly, even still, you still have some people who decide to hold on to this sort of idea of what a, DJ yes. is, yeah. Mm. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really dig the, the, the term entertain. I'm gonna really dig oh, it. Oh, gonna yeah, dig it. Know, recording artist. Record, uh, yeah, recording gonna, recording yeah, artist. Yeah, okay, yeah, sir. Enter, entertain. <laughs> then, then clone enter, I mean, big up to our clones, but I mean, you know, when I, whatever. Recording I'm, artist. I'm just saying, you know. You did a, a our course or in mm. business management. Yep. What was it like, though, trying to balance the music side of the thing with studies back then? <laughs> Well, I mean, the the challenge, like anything else, is just you know focusing. Let me tell you, from if if when me and my uniform I go to school, me never want to focus on it much less. When me I travel the world and I you know all yeah. over the place and I, you know, so so it was challenging in that regard. But you know, again, thankfully, um, capacity wise, I was always able to mm. get it done, um, and. Um, I guess I was clearly more mature at that time and with different responsibilities and, you know, that being said, you know, you can put things in perspective in a different way. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you understand, say, so you have to get it done, yes. you get it done, yeah. And why is we're, one of the reasons why I respect that, because many artists, when they start making some money, they mm. only even contemplate mm. going back to school in that shape or form, you understand? Yeah, yeah. But you saw it fit to take on the challenge and deal with the thing. Well, so you know what? Let me be fair. I'd, I'm not sure if I would have gotten up any day and be like, you know what? Let me go do this degree. Mm. Um, I was approached by RDI um, and based on that approach, I was very much receptive to it because it's um, our view education is more like um, personal development. Mm. So it was an opportunity to, um, you know, work on myself and, 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 you know, invest in myself, so to speak, uh, certainly the time. And then, um, and then all of the other things that right. we just spoke about. So, you know, let, let me be, just be 100% right there. So, I mean, I don't think more that get you up there and stop say, and go do you know it. what? Mm. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it was a long distance model. So, I was able to still travel and okay. be and, where and we need to be and, and, and do that. Yeah. Um, I'm, and, of course, I'm, you know, I'm happy to have done it and, you know, it's a, not a frame of reference and it's, you know, it's, like I said, personal development. So good vibes. Yes. I'm a juvenile, I'm no set, don't ramp. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But even before that, because yeah. whilst you were in sixth form, you yeah. 
entertain dreams of going to the university to pursue a career in journalism. Yeah. So it was always there, man. Yeah, well, no, but, but we're talking about um, after my career right, started. Right, yeah, so, man. yeah, no. So before, as I was going deep you, down. I, yeah, I, no, yeah, no, I don't know deep down. Right, right, like, right there. So, how oh, <laughs> may I go buy my house and Mona? What kind of wicked man this? Would it be rare, my dog? <laughs> yeah, how oh, may I go get my, my, my German ship from Bridget? <laughs> yeah, so it was always going to be um, university in that regard was always, you know, a part of the program. And again, so like my father did go cast and I'm seeing my brother go um, see him cast, no turn, mm, UTEC. Okay. And then, you know, my sister go university as well. So, um, and the, or my sister then, but matter about them right. time, when it would have been, because me are the last one so for my mother. So when my brother go and then my sister, then I might turn next. You know, it was Naturally. All, yeah, it, you know, so that's the example that's there. Mm. And so, you know, it did I forgot him. Um, and as I say, I was thinking journalism because, um, you know, every career speaker at school tells us, you know, try to do something you love. Um, what I really love, of course, you know, is the whole bit music and things. So, you know, you want to be close to the yeah, music. So chances are. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'm not thinking, you're not interviewing me still, Carl. I'm not TV music. I can't DJ me We're here life. vibing with one of the most talented journalists. <laughs> <laughs> His mother named him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. yeah brother, brother. We saw uh, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, congratulations, bro. Yeah, man. You Give understand? Thanks. Mm -hmm. is, is, is a, a important for that and I kept that for yeah. many different reasons. Give thanks. And I'm assuming to that business management would have played its role in your life as an artist as well. Well, so in general, so the principles, um, and remember POB from high school, so the principles of business can be applied you know, across um, many fields. Um, and then, of course, the very discipline of it and all mm. of that. And, of course, you know, running um, my personal business, and I, I can say businesses um, in, in some regard definitely benefit from, from having done that. Talk on my field. Yeah, me just mm -hmm. talk on my field. See, mm. that song, many people said at the time that that song was, again, Oh, Lord, some more Lord. that. Well, go back a cartel yeah. again, Jesus. <laughs> no, we don't even go there. We just say that. Uh, and and not, not all them. Two songs there. Because people took them as, the, as, as, as that. When uh, the history would have said that, you did done with that no, long time. No, man. It was, you it, just do them song there. Yeah, this, the, you know. The, <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to stop explaining lyrics. If you want, you go listen about the song um, and see what the song I say. It wasn't that at all. But no, it just... I'm on a fear in a spike. No, mm. no, man, it wasn't that at all. But what pe again, you see, because as far as many people did concern, it was like unfinished, unfinished business. Unfinished business. And so them, you know, even mm. up to now, I guess people that still want to see that. But no, not man, like that. No, sir. Mm. And you know, you see me come here ask a question, and then you know, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 you may not kill the messenger. <laughs> I'm just saying, gee, no, but here we go. You have to understand, Bridget, people, people decide them now nah, go make it to rest. Oi, me and Cartel, all right, man, big up yourself. <laughs> Adija, no, and sincerely, you know, yeah. big up my bridging and thing, and you know, um, we see him, him, him mute them come at the music now and them thing, then you know, me just like when me, when me, other than my dad Barbados, I may tell my wife, the if I, I think at the first time I go Barbados, it was it was me and Cartel and um, Danny Marshall, English. no, no oh. me and Cartel and Wayne Marshall, okay. Um, I did Bermuda with English guys. Yeah, man. Tell me, show me that vibe. Yeah, man. And the part, the part, the, the part, the crazy man. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah, it was yeah. This matter about like last week or, or, or about two weeks ago, you know. Um, and so my my whole vibe and memories of the thing is just is more along them them lines, you know. Mm. Um, and of course, um. Yeah, just, you know, as I said, just appreciating the whole thing. So, no, man, I don't have no kind of belly or carrier or nothing like that. No, sir. So, in 2013, you appeared on a track on Kanye West's Easy album. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus album. Yeah. I am in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how that came about? All right, so, um, <laughs> Abridging of mine, um, <clears throat> the, the um, work was used to do some work in uh, G-Jam. G-Jam, okay. And... Uh, Kanye people them come down for the summer recording for something and them pretty much like yo like invite some oh, bunch of people yo come come through and okay. you know, whatever for, but it was for a compilation album um, so you know we go there we record something and and just cut um, help a couple of people put some words together too for something what them did I do um, and just just left it 
you know, do oh, like, yeah? like three ver like when like, them play a rhythm and say, alright, I'm chat a verse on that, play another rhythm, oh me do a chorus, play another rhythm, oh yo, this sound like something you could have done, you know, whatever. And after like both four recordings, um, me leave the evening. Um and then several months after that, the same bridge, big up DAJ, me link me, I was like, yo, can you hear them I look for you? <laughs> big up this one. <laughs> yeah. Um and then yeah, the song come up, me never, you know, like I never know which one them did I go use, I never know the song and, and so that's how that happened. And of course, um being on that project and you know the Ooh, kind of um, the kind of visibility and thing, you know, then some other good things that come mm -hmm. from it. Then you start to work with people like Ray Kwan and Yeah man, some only pass something going in this one. Um and Cardinal and them people. Eh? Yeah, Card uh, Cardinal Cardinal. Cardinal bridging. Yeah, bridging from yeah. them time. Um and then Cardi did make the link for the um the Kendrick, Kendrick. feature. And then, you know, some other other things uh, came out of that. Yes. Yeah. Speaking about the Kendrick feature, um, The Black of the Berry, mm -hmm. and his Pimp the Butterfly album, mm -hmm. that won Grammy in 2015, mm -hmm. I think it was the 58 Grammys. He yeah. performed that song mm -hmm. at the Grammys. Yeah. Meanwhile, so you weren't there, your voice and your work mm -hmm. was pushed to millions of people. Mm -hmm. Must have been a great feeling. Well... The, the, the craziest thing about that was the, the 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 Twitter like you know my phone like my phone put on one side and like my can like my phone almost catch a fire it was just like yo nonstop nonstop um but as a good vibe still I mean clearly you know the Grammys is, is one of the premier stages in music um you know and so you know for have um you were presented on that platform, yeah, you know, it means something. So mm -hmm. we give thanks for that. I mean, well, so there were some Jamaicans who, you know, wished that you had walked out then, on the stage. Some Jamaicans? <laughs> then, yeah, I think we wish to oh, kind of wicked man is some Jamaicans. Like, yeah. you have them pen up somewhere. <laughs> Regin, you yeah, wish you didn't get to walk out. Yeah, absolutely, that I mean. But, um, you know, as we said, we, we, we learn to give thanks um, and, you know, appreciate the moment for what it was. Mm. Yeah. You were featured on a Grammy winning album. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Congrats, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. The Black of the Berry. Yeah, man. Chewed, by the way. Yeah, man. Zane. That also, again, as we say, created another another set of doors opening up yeah. for you and stuff, mm -hmm. creating other opportunities and things. Mm -hmm. So even though you weren't there physically, other other spin off. Yeah, but, I think... I mean, no, all right, so let me tell you something now. All right, so as much as it would be great to be there, um, and people, especially with, with this same Kanye and Kendrick thing, mm. you see, by the time where I was in my development yeah. mentally, like, listen, nobody not owe me nothing. Um, Kendrick have him show, go and go do your show. It's not my song, it's your song, it's your show, go do your thing. Like, you know, like, when, you know, when, when, mm, no. yeah. I, I mean, it would be great to be there, but me just I tell you straight up, like, with all my mind work, that it's Kendrick thing and... You know, good. And it's important that you said yeah. that you know, because again, a part of the conversation that came out around that is that publicly, Kanye or Kendrick never really mm. gave credit mm. publicly, and, and, and that's on them, not on me. But, but they show not, up on your statements, though. Yeah, precisely. But, but yeah, but them not you know they not owe me not, not mm -hmm. outside of that. Mm -hmm. No, me write my words, and me. My statement of Jeffrey Campbell and make my percentage, I'm a good writer, so. So good to yeah. hear. As a matter of fact, um, the Black of the Berry sold gold. Over yeah, 500 school no man. Let me just say, yeah, brother, without yeah, yeah, me 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 pushy, brother, without pushy. <laughs> but, God, God, yo, God. Yo, 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 teach them, but I did it. No, I'm just saying, I don't want to teach them too much, you know. But the info out there, brother, so the service. That's all right. No, no, no. All right, sir. My apologies. Tell people about thousand people they on the song. Yeah, the, yeah, them song they have man who play one instant. So nobody feel like yeah, don't 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 match spam it. Yeah, anyway, the, the the Kendrick thing now was kind of leading up to your third official album, yeah. Theory of Regativity. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people think someone should have pretty much almost do a hip hop album Why? because of them because of them feature them. You're not a hip hop artist. It's precisely. So um <coughs> me, um yeah me just decided at that time and again um to immerse myself in a more reggae me did decide to more um, focus um on a particular avenue and and so that's why regativity was done.
mad. Mm -hmm. And the theory of regativity mm -hmm. was you trying to explain the origin well, not, and not, growth. Not, 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 not explain so much. necessarily, but just explore. More, explore. More, yeah, that, than explain. The yeah. origin and, and, and transition and, of, of, of the music. Of reggae itself and even, you know, how um, the fact that you see, about 1982, and somehow it did feel like reggae and dance all the day after ever, mm -hmm. only to realize that, no, 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 it did, you know, several um, years before. Before, yeah, right. It's not like, you know, so but it feel like it's there. I, and you, right, them yeah, but it, big youth, them are come from them. That, it does it feel like, come as I say, growing up, it feel like this thing has been here forever. So a part of that exploration was, you know, <laughs> appreciating that, um, this thing exists because of the sweat and tears of people who followed before me and therefore um if it just born what they don't take it for granted that you know it going to survive on its own somehow you know we're all of a part of play and, sustain it. And, and and you know the sustainability of it is definitely mm -hmm. something that we have to look at so um so so all of that went into that process and even you know Live show wise and thing that's when I decide to say, yeah, I'm gonna need to have my band and them thing there because okay. in order to present the music in the way that I think it ought to be presented, them thing they're critical, you know. Mm. So, so that was a lot of a lot of that, um, in that time. That album was in the preliminary running, so Grammy nomination. Well, what can yeah. I say? I mean, um, because of the texture of the album and all of that. Immediately, we, you know, in a Jamaica, I think we say, yo, this is a Grammy, Grammy album. Grammy song and album. Yeah, so, so I think um, once, the, once the album came out, that argument um, started to, you know... Circulate. Circulate, yeah. Mm. Mm. Some songs, can I tell, so on that album, I mean, tell us, we have some favorite songs. So Day and Day Out is on that album. Yes. Mix Up, yeah. Africa, Crazy with Elisa. Imora. Imora. Mm -hmm. the, the, them sang there. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of the songs, yeah. even now. It's a yeah. country boss. Yeah. Them sang there. Yeah. So we, when you play the album, no skippable song on the album. Ah, give brother. thanks, give yeah, thanks. Give say. thanks. But day in, day out, we are mm -hmm. a bigger piece of that three people there. Man. I'm telling you, oh, by the way, day in, day out, I write with my guitar. The same guitar with them send me that match. Yeah, so, mad guitar. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is some mad lyrics or so. I'm telling you, day in, day out, I'm. Um, Trying to find a way out. It seems there's always a trap. It seems like four steps forward or five steps back. I'm telling you, day in, day out. I'm trying to find a way out. It seems there's always a trap. It seems like four steps forward or five steps back. Can't check this out, the landlord. He does a pressure, my yes. Me feel like he won't get me your time, place. A six months now, me no pay the rent late. And him, him come a, him come a tell me, say, three years. Me just lose the work, but me not lose the fate. Still have me little wagon, so I hustling straight. Papi into dumb town without a red plate. Now me carry the pan a record back. Oh, me going pay it. Me just take my last pay, the doctor bill, boy. Still have a prescription for fill. Can't buy the name brand pill. I am just sold the generic and carry on still, yes. Day in, day out. Um. Yeah, them tune there, you know. Yeah. So we say you do some work with Raekwon and Jerry Wanda. Mm -hmm. You do some work with Cardinal. Mm -hmm. I think Pretty Paper is one of the tunes you do with Cardinal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Zane, you do Little John, Turn Down for what remix? That so, was you know, official. So it never come out, you know. That never come out. Yeah, it, it did official and then... Well, no, which one are so they? No, I lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That came out. Sorry. Lil John did voice one song from one never come out. Oh, one song never come yeah, out. Yeah, but Turn On For What oh. Remix was official. So that was you, Ching, yeah, and man. Conscience. Yeah, I get it mixed up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Zane, uh -huh. you, you do something with, as I said, I discovered that recently with Rice. Rice the Five Nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Pusha T mm -hmm. and some other people up on that. Fabulous and. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that was, um, it was Rice's single. Um, Summer Unlock, I think the song. Some, yeah. Summer Unlock, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. And then we do a, a mixtape thing with Rice too, with Eminem and the, the tune. Um, yeah? Yeah, man, I think the um, um, Rap on Steroids. Rap on Steroids. I forgot yeah, to look for yeah, it. Yeah, look for it. I think yeah, Rap on Steroids. Yeah. Rice, look up yourself. Um, and then, um, what else? The Men Kenzo. Fiona, with the, with the, right. I would have talked about that. The, the Kenzo, Kenzo ad spot. And then, yeah. And then I also I do something with. Um, for, Par what? for Paramount Pictures, be a watch. Be a watch, yeah. You're on two tracks. Yeah, the yeah. Jetty and one next something, something, something. I want to tell you, I write in that something. Do them. Let me say that thing name. 
them say them want me to do vocalizations um, because them hear the Kenzo thing. So them pretty much people, them want me to just make noise and them are going to sample it and use it or whatever. Oh, so right. them actually send the same thing I hear in the movie, like the, the actual score. So I know nothing for DJ Pan in about me. Yeah. I say, me I say, mm. yeah, go in. What? <laughs> 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 you know, we come and think I say, worm them. Me worm say, yeah. me, oh. <laughs> me say, no, me have to worm them. Pan car. So it's like, you, yeah, it's, it's not a real rhythm. So me have to just, me I say, mm. Mm. if I help on the third bar, me have to jump on and you know, <laughs> and show them what I got. Yeah. So you were featured on two two songs for the soundtrack, two soundtrack songs for the for the yeah. Day Watch movie. Yeah, man. Mad yeah. thing, man. Yeah, that, and 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 so. Also, I'm start learning at the time that it was when the studio was just built, is that um, there are so many avenues in music, um, you know, you know, movie scores and everything there um, are are now things that were you know consider like you know there are so many other aspects to to music. It's not just you know one model or sing song, put out album, perform on stage and everything there. But what what is a teach me though, Saskia, is that you're out there do some work where we're not readily see, but it's there. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, we give thanks. We give thanks, <laughs> yeah. Can't teach them. It comes like you don't want to No, 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 we start with uh, stronger the album Str then. So I try not like, you know, have favorite song and them thing there. But what I find is that sometimes when I take myself out of the equation and I just mm -hmm. listen as a bridge, you know, I love music, um, I find say, my, 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 my really like that song. Yeah, stronger. stronger. Yeah. Africa. Africa, yeah, yeah, beautiful like, song. Yeah, my check for yeah. Africa on the album there. But, you know, the entire album, I was, I was, it was my first um, effort producing an entire project. and. You know, I'm really pleased with it. So the entire album mean a lot to me because of that, you know? Nice. Yeah. And so that was 2016, Theory mm -hmm. of Regativity. Mm -hmm. And then 2018, two years after. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take all 20 years between albums and brother. You did Oprah. Uh -huh. And arguably, even though I tell you, say, Theory of Regativity is one of my favorite albums of all time. Arguably, Oprah may be an evil more solid body of work. Well, why you sound so tentative? If you say something, say it, no man, I don't know. <laughs> Arguably, maybe. Pass, man. Talk the thing if you talk the thing. Yes, when you ready for talk, man, business about 500,000 so yeah, you, 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 you have it clear. Um, so, all right, so this is how we see it now. Um, the, you, you want your last work to be your best work because, mm -hmm. you know, it's supposed to be showing, the, you know, the growth and the, the um, evolution and all of that. Um... So, I'm happy that Hope River, to me, is a quote unquote better album than Regativity. You know, people can you think, think that. And, and, well, what, for what it means to me, again, okay. so, so Hope River is, is, you know, I talk about growing up on the banks of the Hope, the same thing where we discuss right. right or so. So, um, <laughs> because of that, you know, it means more to me in that regard. Then it's the first album I'm producing in the studio, you know, all of that. So, you know, I try, all right, so here we go on. Personally, me, better me leave the people them for the side. Me just want to do the work and, and, and leave it there. So, but, you know, again, as a fan of music, me can look on the two of them and say, you know, I prefer this because... Here's why I prefer Hope River. Oh, it's because it is getting closer to the sound that I um, that, um, want to, you know, find and, and, and define for, for myself, where it's sort of like a, you get more... so. Reggativity, you know, we did more like reggae. Reggae, right. Who provide a mixture, but also even the dancehall beats them now. The the tempo, we put the first and second and third. You can hear everything, re, re, re. So even going back to the idea of underrated or whatever, a part of my responsibility is to present my work in a way that for the people who, who can appreciate it to appreciate it. Yes. A lot of people, a lot of my fans and people really care about my work not going to listen at certain speeds mm -hmm. and even the texture of some so of the things. So you have to slow it down sometimes. Yeah, so, the, the yeah, so for example, when we sing Winning right now, it comes like at the first my father wrote when I'm a song, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I can't carry everything in there. I say I'm winning right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, uh, incidentally, Winning right now is clearly one of my biggest songs True. because in terms of demographic-wise, from can't you know, appeal being to, able to Exactly, and mm -hmm. everybody can hear what I go on and things. So, so with, with Hope River, 
I think Hope River get closer to exactly what that space is where you have like a winning right now, but you have Banks of the Hope and, you know, Journey um, and Journey Mama Prayed and, and, and Mama Prayed. Top and Mama Prayed, you know, mm -hmm. brother. Me are listening, you know, guess who me are in my ears? Toots. Toots? Oh, Toots R.I.P. Big up. Now, I get a reason now for the Godfather already, you know, and oh, so I'm going to tell you, right, going back to oh, when I grew up and thing and I'm a pre-music or whatever, is like, Remember the old time karate show them what we used to watch down at Presley. See me. <laughs> um, where you have all, you have different styles and you have Tiger some and style and, yeah, and... and some style can only beat some style. Right. So if you have for example, if you have a snake style, probably the monkey will go kill the snake. Mm. But then mm. if you have the crane now, the crane better than a one day and you have to know which one, you know, for test what. So similarly you now, um the art farm, DJing. And let me tell you, you know, people, I know that whenever I want to go see this, but yeah, in a them <laughs> age, um, the art form of DJing, teach them, I'm, may I task you for ask the man them from them time, because right. I remember I said the music young, you know, and DJing is a young thing. Ask them about DJ for me, you know, not because a man sing a song pana, or perform a song on a dance or rhythm, mean say, man, really execute the art form of DJing. Okay. It's a different thing for DJ and, and sing song. Right. But you can go research that for yourself. But anyhow, so when you talk about the DJing style, you know, I say, no, you have to can have the, the, the full complement mm. of the different styles so you can know which one for draw mm. from, whatever. So like, you know, Caperton, you have the, the Boudreaux, you have the um, Terra Fabulous, you have the um, Major Worries. You know what I mean? You have to can draw for the different style. Them you have Spraga right there, so with theme style. And when they go on zone, they mean you say, oh, "Baby, we ain't doing rap." I say, nah. you know, "This is what is it?" They, yeah, they, you know. <laughs> yeah, so you have to can draw up on different techniques for suit or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like you say, winning right now. Um, now which song you say it was? Oh, Mama, Mama prayed. Mama prayed. Young Glace, yeah. Yeah, I say, I say, toot some one rehearsal one time. So it's like, with that one of them, let's say it was, you know emancipation or mm. independence celebration, something like that. So we have one of them performance there and you know all kind of different artists that turn up. I'm a turn up for rehearsal day and our sound check or whatever it was. And I saw Toots have the mic casually. Like if you just have the mic we don't have Sing it up Mr. Hell! And it loaded than everybody Big and loud and crisp and clean. And, and man, 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 man fight with the mic up your son, you can't hear them. I'm mean, the man that stays out of the mic, I can just, like, you know, catch all them. I said, no, so I have to learn that style. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the time now, so one of the time, I'm going to do it a couple of times and I up and, you know, all kind of things. I said, not so, not so, I don't have it. So one day, I'm in a hotel and I see somebody like at this bar, pretty much in a, almost like at the lobby at the hotel. Mm -hmm. I said, wait, toots that. I'm going to go over to him, and he said, I have a drink. I said, Godfather, I don't know if it's because of him. I said, yes, young man, blessings and things. I'm going to go, so. I said, tell me something. <laughs> I said, one time, I'm at wherever, and you have the mic, we don't. I said, really? No, I want one, because I you know, need to learn for that. And the man goes, so. I look at me, and look over him shoulder, look like he might come and give me the secret to the universe. And then he said, Gotta sing it like you feel it. <laughs> and take a sip off and think that's a wow. <laughs> you gotta sing it like yeah. you feel it. Yeah, Godfather, big up yourself. And yeah, so no, we kind of have it halfway still. Ah, we don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it. Don't put out that yet. As I said, yeah. that, we know yeah. we are talking about um, Warp River, uh -huh. but there's something that you said that. Uh -huh. Buju Bantan. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Was the one who was instrumental in teaching you how to. Yeah, man. And later, I can afford. Yeah. Well, Buja and Jeremian. So it was, it was more a kind of penthouse heritage thing. But, you know, Buja for sure, as the man who actually uh, used the device, um, would, uh, would uh, be more, um, you know, a, a reinforce or enforce. But like, yeah. Why well, I think the long stick up on the mic for juvenile? Yeah, cover, cover, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so... Well, so, yeah, well, I come off your mic. Yeah. And the stem did it. <laughs> yeah, man. Man said juvenile. Yeah. Back to Hope River you now. Mm -hmm. So we said that Mama prayed. Let me get a Toots vibe off of that song. Mm -hmm. You understand? We know you and Stephen Marley mm 
mm-hmm. and a track and oh, that. grateful that, yes. Stone yeah, Boy, Spraga, and I remember who was the band that track there, Zane. But that, Kabaka. Kabaka, mm-hmm. yeah. J Island. Mm-hmm. You link up with some, some serious people for that one, man. Yeah, yeah, but then, then I'll be a serious people who work. What kind of argument that? <laughs> I bet you know, I deal with people. Yeah, man, but um, again, you know, working um, you know, the studio and just um, exploring more producing um, at this stage um, and still learning and um, just, you know, exploring that side, um, producing, executive producing, all that. That's a good vibe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the album has done well and it's yeah, doing man, well. Very, yeah. Mana yeah. mana yeah. but dig yeah, no matter that's the final business, but yeah. yeah so yeah. you made I'm, I read I'm I'm, I'm I'm safe to say I'm satisfied with our efforts. Awesome. Say that. Awesome. Yeah. I read somewhere where after theory of forgetivity, because when you did theory of forgetivity, it was almost a decade since you had done an album which was um The last one come out. Golly Sitting. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you made a vow to re- release an album every two years. Every two years, yeah. But after Oprah, mm-hmm. it was 2018, mm-hmm. whenever we really get an album, 2020, we get an EP. You know the album name? COVID-19. What kind of wicked man is this? Yeah. Yeah, so, so I was working on an album. And oh, you then, were? And then, yeah, and, and we just decided, was I going to just hold it until... The, but, you know, COVID... Um, Show it face in the real way in March of 2020. Um, yeah, man, yeah, March 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. Choo, choo, yeah. choo, choo. And so, um, b- me never got through a pandemic from a band. So, mm. I figured, all right, yeah, man, buy some. Never run out. And so, and, and clearly it didn't. And then, so we did have to kind of, you know, wheel and forward again and decide, all right, better we'll um, just drop an EP instead of the album because you can't really travel and you know do the promotions necessary and all of that so mm. which is, so that's why an album never um came Come out forth. in in um 2020 in, in, when it would have been due in 2020 so now um 2022 um start working on an album now and um regardless covid or no covid I figure that I still have just delivered it. Like yeah. You did an EP in between. Um, yeah, man. Assassin versus, versus Assassin. Assassin. I must say, that track, the track, the video, mm. genius work, brother. Yeah, well, big up Jay Will. Like, I don't mind. I, the Jay Will and the execution. Jay Will, yep. mash it up. Mm-hmm. Genius work, brother, brother. Mm-hmm. Genius and, work. Yeah, big up um, <coughs> my brother who play a role in that too. Say big up yourself. I'm big up Bridget, um Loxley. And yeah, I'm, I'm big up um, Assassin for now and there. And the, uh, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really sure on. on thing. And I'm finally Kobe jersey. Mm. You don't know yeah. anybody who know me know say Kobe. I'm a ball yeah. and him. It came back to me the other day because there was no, a there was an exchange between you and someone on social media recently. Mm-hmm. Somebody I said yo, them need back Assassin car, the agent Sasko thing. Me and you replied. Them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were explaining to them that look here. We need to grow. We have to grow. No, and this is where I want. I don't want to tell them say we have to grow. I don't know about no Afi. All me know say. All me know say. My, my perspectives now and where I am in my development is clearly not the same as when I was then. 17. And, mm. and, so, and so to expect that. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. And me just I make you know, says you know, if you wonder about it no more, it won't be forwarding. Me not, no. They, if you right, want, you said that. Yeah, so you can go listen about them things, they're fine, you know, but me just know that so. And, mm-hmm. and there's this kind <coughs> of, um, uh, me not, I don't even know, I don't even know, me don't know the, the rationale um, or why people even bother with it. But me, I'm, I'm secure in what me I do. Um, and where I'm at in terms of my development, and you know, I'm not gonna go back to to that. I'm not gonna go do anything that is out of alignment to do what I really want to do. I've done that before, and I know there is no fulfillment in it, and so I'm not doing it again. And there is nothing that you can say or do to change my mind. On an inter- so love it. <laughs> when I introduced you, I introduced you as a lyrical genius. Yeah. A simple song in terms of delivery and 
Banks of the Hope. Like, there are so many witty, creative lyrics in that song. Mm -hmm. You really see the man's song, like, yeah, I said, wow. Mm -hmm. Like, I went in there when the man meant that, but the Banks of the Hope, which you make a couple of bars out of that song, there, cause. <clears throat> we put your first and second and third, watch your blessings come forth. Blessings come forth. Yes, it is a miracle if you make your thing shut and end up a gun coat. End up a gun coat. Ah, growing up on the banks of the hope. Wah. We never give up and we never lose hope. So we never sell out and never sell dope. No, ironically, everything what we say, they say is dope. Listen, it never break. We spirit growing up broke. You see, we don't even get that part then. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Mad, are you a trustee at American International School of Kingston? Yeah, ask me, I tell you. May I ask you? Yes, I am, sir. I am on the board of trustees at AISK. Yes, yeah? Sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Campbell. Mr. Let me Campbell, refer to you as that. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. yes. Yeah, give them some. Yeah. The man I, I, I touch many aspects of yeah. life in the country, bro. Well, so again, um, when I start to learn myself and know myself, I get to understand that there are things that I want to do that outside of the realm of music and um, I may have to pursue them. So, so I'm being more deliberate about doing some, some more of those things and spending my time um, on things that mean a lot to me mm -hmm. and things I'm passionate about. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so, you know, education and is, is one such thing. And um, being in places where you can, you know, have some kind of impact and, and effect change and everything there. So um, to that end, even most recently, the RPJ um, re-signing and the fact that I have now, you know, more responsibilities and, you know, especially in planning and executing projects and, and whatever as the next thing that I'm passionate about in terms of um, you know, the environment, how we treat it and, you know, yes. some things that everybody can benefit from, not just, you know, um, a, a few or a, a particular sector. But if Jamaica is, um, you know, not drowning in plastic bottles, I guess we'll all feel the benefit mm -hmm. of that. So, yeah. You made mention just now of being placed where you can um, influence and affect Youths in a positive way. Never say nothing about youths. It's a change. Change in a positive way. <laughs> you have been a part of helping to guide and mentor um, boys and I think girls as well. I'm not sure at Metcalf Roman Center, at, for ju at the juvenile center. I tell you, so Metcalf, the Metcalf facility. All right, so that is a is a part of a broader program called okay. We Transform. We um, Transform, right? Yeah, so. So, which is dealing with um, juvenile offenders and, and um, w uh, wards of the state. So, for whatever reason, sometimes they don't really commit an offence, but they matter to them, you know, mm. or whatever. Um, and so, Metcalf um, is a boys-only uh, facility, um, but there are facilities, clearly, that would have girls. Right. Um, South Camp, I guess, is one of them, and um, I don't remember the, the, where else, but... I was, I was invited to the program to be an ambassador and mentor um, across the different facilities. But Metcalf, after going to Metcalf and seeing the setup there and even doing some analysis you know, personally, I realized that I would prefer to focus on one institution um, and be able to um, have measurable, um, you know, Goals. Success, oh, goals, okay. whatever, um, and, and, you know, where we can have more, uh, more impact, so to speak, if you, if you focus the efforts mm. and, and resources. And then um, f the learnings from that, then you could cut and paste to, other, um, to the other institutions. So, so that was the approach I took. So I kind of just adopted um, Metcalf as the facility that, uh, you know, I was going to focus mm. on. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's been a... It's been a, a big learning experience for me and a kind of, um, it, it helped me realize, again, some, some of the things that 
I get fulfillment from and some of the things that I want to commit more of my time to, mm. you know. So the, I, that's one project that really mean a lot to me. And um, and again, you know, if we can have impact in a in a project like that, then everybody benefits because naturally, you know, if if we can help the young men from pursue more, um, you know, uh, let's say positive and constructive um, avenues, then Jamaica benefits and everybody everybody wins. Sure. Mm -hmm. You were instrumental in the creation, building, setting up of the Black Diamond Studio at Metcalf, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. boys can, who have musical desires and talent, can express themselves. Or who never know. Even know. Because, know. because, true, true because you, can go, you can go discover it, you know. But, uh, you know, definitely, I don't, I don't need to... Tell, tell you what, what music do for me in terms of um, just a, a very significant part of my life and clearly my livelihood for the last 20 years. Um, and so, and we know in every community across Jamaica, we talked about it earlier, you have a million and one DJ, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> and so, you know, clearly there is, there is a transformational value in music that um, could definitely be used in in a in a space like a Metcalf, um, and you know it was it was really it was really a different experience actually doing the, the building of the right. studio and working alongside a few other the guys there along with the staff and everything and of course big up Stepper um, and Digital Foundation they came in in a, a very big way on the dollar side of things and, and make it happen. Um, and, you know, the old Metcalf family, big up on yourself. Um, Superintendent Elliot, Mr. Brown, Mr. Pingit, Mr. Seminar, you know, like getting at the name Me card. You know. Mr. <laughs> Kennedy, everybody on Metcalf, big up on yourself. Ella Garty, big up yourself. Um, MNS Massive, big up. It was um, Pernell Charles Jr., actually, who started the initiative, as far as my understanding. Mm. He's not with this yeah, ministry, you, know, right. but, you know, big up yourself, you don't know. Mm. Mm. Well, I appreciate the time and energy and effort we're expending on that, brother, brother. Yeah, man. Because, as I said, the whole away stand to benefit from Abs that. Absolutely. We don't have to deal with certain things if the youth them can be rehabilitated certain way. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. <clears throat> you you sp spoke about, you know, really want to get in on the name thing just now, but True Blue. All right, it's a True Blue now. We talk about some song, you sing, Every song you sing, you think you're going to bust. I sing a song for True Blue. Name, when money day, you just have to know how to get it. Get a son no, so I make a vow to get it. But assassin with a never stoop low to get it. I go and do some dub and stage show to get it. But the killer say, hey, yo, you're low to get it. And me, your baby, be shama say, wow, wow, to get it. Be in the man, I say, zaga, zaga, zo, to get it. And elephant say, few now, to get it. Then, would you say, till shy? <laughs> You see that God. <laughs> Mr. Sita now I'm rich. <laughs> People. The song, here we go on. It never bust like that. But what a song they do for me still, industry wise, like it get earplay and thing and 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 so industry wise, people are like, yo, right, how so we shoot this? Yeah. So yeah, for example, one of the time we may go actually meet killer properly now. Cause I see killer one time, me the pan a bus I got a papin and the bus stop a half a tree. I'm in at the bus park and look so. I said, wait, a killer they come them telling me I left from my father, go park okay. there now. Me about maybe ten or so. Brother, I'm look and see them used to wash car in at the bus park on Sunday evening. Mm. I'm say a killer that. I just come off of the bus and go stand up <laughs> and stand up like me there as I ended this. I'm gonna stand up one side and stay so I say, you're a killer that you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's the first time I tell you about the while you laugh. But when I go probably meet killer now, I'm actually like there one gate or one some party for going and like, you know, whether they look, of course, the gate man I know you are nothing and clearly you know the money for going. So you try kind of, you know. Anyway, I'm out there and um, I think I zoomed you and say, Sassin, that way you And killer goes, so, youth, are you name some man? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that you know, the for true blue, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, because in the, you know, of yeah, course. Calling, eh? Yeah, and then, and then, blue was one of them man that were in the road. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay, So, you okay. know, I promote it, the true one, you know. And, yeah, blue, they rate me differently. So rest in peace, true blue. Mm -hmm. And then, now, another 
near my mouth called um, Lion. Lion Face. King Adiz. Adiz. Lion Face are the first man who pay me for a dub plate. And that are the, that are the first money when we get out of music now. The, the, when the Spraga tune, Spraga did give Biggie some money. And, and Spraga tell Biggie say, I have to give me the, the money. So me, that was the first money we make out of music. <laughs> but, um, but after that now, the first time I got actually, somebody I got pay me for some of the music. It was Lion Face. I'm going to collect the money, so I look on it. And I say, You mean for tell me, I'm going to make up a song, I'm going to sing it, and somebody pay me. And then I'm going to name them. You know. mm. If the, I'm coming at um, arrows for, for cut some dub and thing, and like, I start DJ, and I say, No, man, I look at you, but. And so I'm paying for the dub, and I remember I just sing till dub done, and yeah. So then after that, no, Blue, um, um, him, um, my, him produce a song for me. Oh God, I adapt my serious in my bus now. <laughs> Tell them how much you want to chat to you, but you know, say that you won't want. Um, um, I don't read him the name. Um, unleaded man. Unleaded. With him come bus the whole place. I say, see it now. We gone, people. I mean, I say, the selector love the tune. And him I go play it now the dance. And then clearly, it I go just bus and everything I got all right. <laughs> but again, but again, what I tune to do for me though, is so my voice that don't adapt jammies, because yeah, my record it on a jammies. I actually suku them they do yeah, the suku them. Suku them do the harmony. Come here, say, girl, them I watch you man, I chat you, but they don't say that they won't and suku them go, won't I say yo, God, why twenty one for now man is married? Anyway. It never the song never really, you know, break like that. But why do again now? It make everybody run a jam as well and record me. Mm. Because the tune sound wicked. It sound like it's certain, you know, me I tell you, you know. Anyhow. <laughs> so <laughs> big up Chublo and yeah. big up Lion. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, big up Chublo, big up Jano. I swear my God on this one. Yeah. Man. You mentioned earlier, because we kind of all over a little bit, that you went on the road with Bujo. How long did that last for though? Um, so that tour was you know, the same 05 ending for go going to 06 there so yeah so it was um yeah in around the same time oh, as okay. I said the world whatever mm. and so um that time I think it was great to be on the road as well change a scenery and everything there and then that is where I really get a chance to work on my performance being on the road for what it was like nine weeks and you have a show pretty much every night yeah. so what you start oh. is and oh, and then, so for me, the greatest thing, by them time, they to me have good, good song and I get my show them and them thing, because them, by them time, they anywhere will go, come out. And okay. You know, so, yeah, yeah man, man, you know, man, I go on with that thing. <laughs> but now, when Bujo had tour, I know East Coast, mm -hmm. right, so we did that East Coast tour, right? Yeah, where, where these venues I'm going to play for myself, mm. you know, DC, New York, all of, you know, um, Boston and them thing there. But then when Bud, when that two weeks I done and, the tour bus goes up and make a left turn somewhere near um, Pennsylvania and start going to America now. Then we start going some place where I wouldn't be playing. Oh, okay. Um, you know, Buju Eka, them Eka, yeah. So, <laughs> so what, what would happen is, you know, clearly my, my God, me I opened the show and um, and it never matter who I was because nobody never come to visit me. <laughs> and so, I mean, it's able to really work on my performance because if people if people never turn up necessarily to because you're named the Panamaki, then why you go do where you go there, you know, how you go uh, right. represent yourself and you know um make a leave a, 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 a lasting impression and thing on them and really, really, really. so that helped me now to start <clears throat> really perform for performing rather than like forward and response, right. it was more of making a case, and of course, we're talking about getting in a different demographics and them, you know, thing there is not just like a Jamaican diaspora or Caribbean setting. You're talking about out oh, in the middle of America, where they are Park City, Utah, and all them places. There. They're not on a damn assassin, <laughs> you know. So, so yeah, so it did really, it did really help me for work for my performance, and then of course, seeing the master himself, um, every night. Uh, was an, another lesson, great you know learning experience. I remember one time. So my set is like fifteen minutes, and Buddha sing for like 
you know, close to two hours sometime and the man will walk so you see the water come out of him, him, him sneakers in, sweat and soap. But me I say, if me I sing for 15 minutes, 20 minutes stops, I'm me a young man, I'm telling me I'm 22, me I me get up and run a man in time, because you know, from me just go around budget him step, yo, you have to run and you have to fit and whatever. So my out of, out of what name? cable out there, so I used to get up every morning, five o'clock and go run a cable out, you know. And every every step me make me I say, I'm gonna kill them because I guess what? Me know so every man of them bed right now, you know. <laughs> so me I say, well, me and them. So anyway, so some some you know, young youth fit and thing, ray, ray, ray. Why me feel like me are dead for the look of 15 minutes and me say Buddha sing for hour and a half? No man, something alright. Me never smoke yet from a barn or nothing in a bridging. So me I say my lungs them supposed to be good and them thing there, you know. But 10 minutes, 15 minutes in, ah, it'll kill me. Me I say, no, something alright. So he said, I'm going to come off of a stage that night there. I'm going to just go on the side, so. And I look, so. And Bojo go on, he said. And Bojo, you know, man, Ian, for like I call a good 45. And I say, the man look like him just out for start. And I say, no, this is not right. Something not right. I'm going to go and start to look good. I say, well, I'll do a little bit. The man goes and say, it's not an easy road. I'm in the city. I said, oh, breathe. Yeah, breathe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I got it now. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. Because you just up there, you know, the adrenaline and your mm. whatever. Just Last breathe. Time, relax and fool your lungs. Yeah, you that. So mm. you say, after that. So that I was the beginning of Agent Sasko becoming one of the best stage performers well, in the business. I wonder if you say. And me, I tell you that. Yeah, well, give that. You see me like when you start, <laughs> that, you start <laughs> saying it with the chest now. Yeah. But and me, no, I tell you that. Actually, that was critical because, again, it, oh, the next beauty of it is because it's every night. You see, if you go tonight and you realize, oh, you know, so should I do that? You get a chance immediately tomorrow Fix night. Fix it. Ah. So, so that, that, Look at tour so Good school again. Yeah, my instrumental. And Jeremy and did insist that, you know, I go for the experience of it. And he was right. Donovan Jeremy, pick up yourself. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And Bujo, of course. And the whole gang, you know. Lenky again, Lenky the dead, big up Lenky. And it was just a great vibe being on the road. I learned all you both take care of yourself on the road. You know, carry your dry clothes after you don't perform. AC, you blow, you soak, you think, change it, you, you know. So, you know, all of those things, yeah. Mm. And And you know what? Um, them thing they need for be talk to the youth. Yeah, the man they need for know them thing there. You know, it's not just, you know, go a show and, you know, you know, show done and big pie, you know, your, your clothes wet up same you are sick off yourself, you have to, you know, learn some of the things. So I learn a whole heap on a tour mm, You may we're talking about the road now. Assassin in his own right as were practically all the major festivals around Europe, North America, about the place. Mm -hmm. Where is that place where Either when you go or before you go, you feel a vibe. I mean, you know, you tell me you like work anyway, people, you know, but is there a place where, when you hear so you no. book for this? So? All right, so let me tell you now. Again, heritage and um, the kind of the kind of environment that I found myself around early, and Penthouse and even around Spraga and them thing there, is understanding, say, every show you, you, you want to give 100% and you want to represent yourself and represent the music. And outside of that, me personally, um, I find, say, the moment is only as big as you make it. So don't overwhelm yourself by thinking, oh, this, I need to do this at this show. Every show are people out there. I never see them flying to Alien for no show yet. Every show are people there. Yeah, well, yeah. And so you have to go to <laughs> sing. If, if a show have a hundred thousand people, it's still people. True. It's just more people. More people. But are people then, see what I mean? So as such, um me literally just view every show as when me, what, give me the microphone and you introduce me, me I go up and me I go me I go sing what me I sing and me I go represent myself in, in, in that forum and represent the music as best as I can. And of course different show craft different strategies, you know, whatever all them things. So that's why I'm like when we have to show more Go early enough so we can do a little bit of... Um, Reconnaissance, yeah, feel man. the vibes. In, in a, in a, well, yeah, look, as in says feeling the vibe, crowd but and no, no. The, forget about energy or crowd. No, 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 no. Energy or crowd, no, nothing to do with me. me <laughs> no, because, because mm. 
if you, if you if you are to perform at an event, what the energy of the crowd have to do? You better come bring the energy. F f yeah, yeah. From the one time there, stand up. No, that mash up enough, man. Mm. Because all right, so for example, all right, one of the first one of the first um some first middle. Uh, no, the first some first middle. Oh, three, I think. Um, me get a DVD of the show and I watch it back. And if somebody in the venue did a video, you see? them you know, out in the audience. Um, my set was like 15 minutes. When them zoom in and zoom out, you have this brother, him there a few feet in front of the camera, and him there, there watch the show, so. When they zoom in, you see him stand up there. And, you know, me I go on all right and thing, and the man just watch the show. <laughs> About seven minutes in, me start, Pay attention to him now, come and say, Jano, I want me to do that, brother. Yeah. The man just look for me and say, you know, nothing. When I tell him, I see the man draw him light and goes up. I mean, I say, oh, he might give me a forward and then the man goes and light him split for me. I say, not there, nothing, not the brother, nah, give me no kind of right. Man just look so. And I smoke like him can't wait for me to come off. And him take a draw off of whatever I must smoke and blow it in the ear so. And say, are you too hard, you know? Yeah, man, that you would tell come like the place. But he bust some blank Never bust one up. blank, him no ball, no forward, no, no, him just watch the show. So what I teach me say, is this idea of, oh, place of people have a jump and a make nice for mean that you're having a good performance. And then going back to the same tour thing, as I say, they never come to see me. So when you go up now, you perform, and you see people all do a thing like this, like, you know, they are listen and they are pay attention. And then um, content-wise too, me not, you know, every one of my songs is not make nice. Sometimes, right. you know, where I read down is a story and them things. So, um, so, back to the world, you know, vibe a crowd and them things. No, you have no. to be careful of that. What me want to know, though, is how to reach them and what, um, and what means of, what I call it now, what approach would be more suitable for them. Because I know this. You see the same people where they are show A, if you carry them go to show B, you can't perform the same way for them. Right. So, so for example, some show have a particular culture and so people expect a certain kind of um, presentation. Mm. So, but you go on next show and them, them expect your so dressing know the to be different. The show. Them expect mm. your presentation to be different and all kind of thing. Um, so, so them think they like go and, and see what I go on. Sometimes I go on some event and it's a sit down thing. And the people them definitely not go back the forward. So you have to change. <laughs> so so even though the same people them where you can go sing a different way for right. so this show might call for a more the kind of like a different kind of presentation. Probably I go talk more in other show yeah, rather than probably I go do more kind of reggae tune in other show yeah. Probably I go low out some tune and do even if it's not, you know them kind of you know all them things. So um, yeah. tell your performance for, 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 for the type yeah. of crowd you perform for. Yeah. Where are you not going to work at Tasco? Where you don't mind go to go mash down one of them time? Eh? Uh, I, I mean, the, the world big enough enough place we don't go yet. Um, but I don't have no, like, a, any event in particular. Oh, okay. But, you know, we, we would have like for um, welcome all possibilities. Let's just, yeah, let's that just call sense. it that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Looking at the journey, bro. Looking mm -hmm. at the journey. At this stage of the journey, because we know you're still a young man. <laughs> Youngish. What would you say is that thing when you look at it? You say, yeah, I am proud to have grasped this from a musical perspective. The, the best thing for me is being able to meet and work alongside all of the heroes I'm going to tell you about. Mm. You know, the people then that made that think about as some aliens in my group. And, you know, especially when we invite them in a writer, so Professor Nuts going at a boot there and DJ in at a microphone there. When I can't tell me nothing, Spraga Benz <laughs> did sing in Deso. Yeah. Bunty Killer did sit down right there, so I mean, him reason and chat. Um, and him go DJ in Deso. Zin, um, who else? I just put you in a forward yet still. And who else like that? Um, let me see now. Who oh, let me see Spraga. Oh, me and Stitchy, me and Stitchy all have. I've sang together with win all award and them things up on them album. Big up Lieutenant Stitchy. Papa San, me and Papa San never done a work yet. But Stitchy, Nuts, Killer, Spraga. And them work alongside Bujo and Bujo push up my song and I tour with Bujo. So there is still that. So you see all of that like. And then of course, outside of that now, just um, Capleton, um, Sizzler, I mean you name it, Beanie, the whole, you know, for, for, for I say the name calling, every artist. <laughs> 
the car, you know that. Yeah. But yeah, you know, just sharing that music with, as I said, people who look up to, and then even some of the younger youth are forward after me still, you know, it's a mutual respect. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a good vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I learn more than anything, say, I'm a part of something that is far greater than me and me just there for try contribute to it in you know the best way I can. Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. What the agent now achieve it musically when I'm, I'm old for no, all and pan one of them. No, no mind work like that. No, like sir. That. It me just I try to maximize my potential. And especially now knowing some of other things I'm want to do and and thing. Um when we when we reach in there, so we divorce every outcome. We just I make music. Work. Yeah, we just have make music and we want, you know, we want to love it and we want to make sure we're authentic with it. You have some things. My more know, again, <laughs> going back to earlier, my more know the things that I, I'm not doing than what I do. Or I know exactly what I don't, I don't want, want to, to do, do. Mm -hmm. than, you know. So I know, say, I go, you know, from here on out, I know I make no kind of music where I tell, you know, my brother them to kill them one another or support them ideas there, you know. Um, I know some more um, um, the music that people can find some kind of value in and substance in, and you know, and and and, and more than anything, music that um, represent my values and represent you know um, all all my city world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are we not? Since so, I give the rap scene, that 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 I that, you know. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the journey, bro. Is mm. there anything where the agent to then do differently, musically speaking, if him get a chance to relive the musical journey? It's hard, it hard to say that because, again, which part of mentally you know, um, I think is a result of every experience mm. I have. And um, the greatest thing is, I know say, um, there is more to, to do and, and more to go and blah, blah, blah. Um, but the best thing for me, the most liberating thing for me, is to understand that um, there are things outside of music that I'm also passionate about. Sorry, and um, and that you know more I pursue. Mm. So um, the studio there, um, A lovely studio, my, sir. My, my kids, them, my kids, them, start to show more and more interest in you know. Whatever, so that's a I whole. See a big DJ, man. Well, yeah, so that's that's a whole other thing again. You know, mm. looking forward to that, and then, yeah, even songwriting wise and producing wise, um, more um, do a lot more of that as well. So you know, there are a lot more things to get done. But right now, we just uh, um, you know, just go with the, the flow of things in terms of you know whatever my vibe feel like and thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm more more than anything. Um, the music for the creativity of it and um, you know just forget all of the outcomes. You know? Mm. But no, you're not really too to I'll get into a favorite song per se. Mm -hmm. And we, we spoke about songs of album already, but of the catalogue which massive. Is there a song where really and truly in your quiet time when you are drive when you probably do some work in the yard or that song there you are on more than any other? Not really, no. No. Right. No. Um, um, it's more just randomly, and, and, and not even with my music, mm -hmm. just music in general. So sometimes, yeah, I end up at home when I might sing them, but I don't imagine say it's because I you know, necessarily love it more than the next one. Yes. But as we, as we said earlier, like, um, the song Stronger, Stronger, the song Grateful, I think I love them because them very much is uh, they make up a very key part of some of the things that I'm live by. Grateful is the track with so, and Stephen. Yeah. Mm. So more than anything, grateful uh, um, is clearly uh, gratitude, and gratitude is something I live by. If you see, my post them have hashtag give thanks give because thanks. It's, you know it really it really is something I live by, um, and it really transforms my life. That that. Um, attitude of gratitude and um, a part of the Hope River project was also to share the tools that helped me through my tough times because I was depressed for like four years. I never knew at the time until after the fact. Um, my 38th birthday was the worst day of my life. 
Um, and so having gone through that and, and you know, coming out, out, out of that, <clears throat> yeah, I learned some things where um, now it, 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 it really make it clear to me and so I try to share that with people. So give thanks, everything. We give, even winning right now. A lot of people don't realize that winning right now is more about the right now than the winning, actually. <laughs> no, it is. Not deep, yeah. yeah, man. It's, it's a, about it's, the right now yeah. than the winning. So um, walking W, you learn from the L's. Yes. So even when you're, if you, even when you're so quote unquote that losing, lose. yeah, you're still learn winning. From it. Yeah. So, it's, so it's a win, same way. So, so it's, it's, you know, them kind of perspective there. Yes. Um, yeah. We spoke about statements just now, but normally when I speak to the artists, you know, mm. one of the one of the theme, recurring theme is that publishing and royalties, many people have difficulties with that part of the thing. The how mm. how I know you're saying I really like focus on the part of the thing, but yeah, how are things with that? It's not a matter of you we're know, not like focus on or whatever, but um you know, we're not gonna get in specifics. Yeah, well, we don't need specifics though, we just <laughs> <laughs> Do everything but, um, in place. Yeah, man. Um, and I want to tell you, I, I'm, I'm t in, <laughs> no, but no, as a matter of keeping it real and, and to that end, it never start off. Um, that way there. You know, so thankfully, it there was not irreparable damage. damage and right now, everything is A-OK. -okay. So juvenile, youths, big people, whatever, um, yeah, that part of the business, you really want to take the time and bother with that part there. Because um, getting that right will save you a whole lot of headache and it will, your grandparents then will thank your feet. Give thanks. Mm -hmm. Favorite with him? What do you mean, of all time? Yes, sir. It was a mad What do you mean? What? B DJ ears cock up in them ear boom with him. And you want me to tell you one with him? I wish my you No put on man. in a sling thing, no. Well, well, put on is all of your favorite. And sir, uh, that in there. Well, put on is all of your favorite. Thank too. you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, what you call it now? Nah, man. I, you know, nah. You're so just okay. loving music, brother. Yes, man. I, you're kidding me. You can't mm. one with him. You're mad. So, with him. Yeah, no, well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cock up higher, brother, man. All right, first of all, Papa would have said why for the cock up, but watch out now. <laughs> all right. Make, all right. No, I can't do that. I mean, even want to start naming the rhythm and oh, thinking. Okay. But, but, but yeah, all right. So, big up. I right, work with all kind of producers. Big up every single one of them. We call some names earlier, people uh, instrumental and things. Nobody vex if you know your name and them things. Um, but you have some rhythm or drop. All right. A brother named Dave Kelly. Mm -hmm. So, when we did high school, but you couldn't tell me the music never zero when I think they come out. Show time with them. Sure I said, no, them done with music. It book now. It can't go no further than this. <laughs> it must have mad. And then, um, all right, so even so just carve some rhythms Broke I really out, love. Bug. Um, even. Um, what you call it? Sling thing Sling is a whole thing. history there. So, um, rice and peas with them, big up peas. snow cone. Um, one name, Rookie Production, um, Superstar, um, I, I go, you know what, I, I, I not call none of the new, I not go call the new rhythm then, because, mm. yeah, I don't, I don't want nobody to get, you know, have me up or right. whatever, but me, the, 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 them traditional rhythm, I miss it, what on the, I just say, I don't bug the drop. Bug. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then now, um, <clears throat> let me see some other producer now, Jeremy Arden, big up yourself, uh, 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 we can't, we, uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, right, next week, we have to start calling. You have done songs with many people, brother. Mm -hmm. Many people. We called some of the names them earlier. We you want that Stevie one to call up? That guy that never asked you. Know? Yeah. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie if you're out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then outside of that, you know, we just, as I said, from Mr. DeVee and Pan Sprague Foot, I'm not frightened over nobody again. <laughs> So yeah, it's a bad like yeah. Yes, but um musically though, Stevie is one of the one of them kind of greats there. Mm. Um 
and one of my favorite artists for sure. So, yeah, when I want a Stevie collab, um, and and it, you know, of course, welcome all possibilities. Yeah. But Stevie, but I need that one. The alien himself, because you say you grew up a call man alien. A man who never write a pen piece of lyrics on a piece of paper, brother. Hundreds of songs. Yeah. And you go up on stage every time and pull them songs from your memory bank. No skip, no itch, no miss. Yeah. The alien said things, man. I want them to you know. That's out of this world, guys. Out of this world for two man. Congratulations, man. Brother, brother, as we done tell you already, yeah, oh, miss the man. thing. Yeah. Zane, one of the man where you know, you know, the hype and the flash and the thing. And as I tell you, if I was to be a DJ, mm -hmm. Agent Sasquatch is a DJ, would I want? Would I want for pattern? Uh, we, we, we not bore we as, we not tattoo, we not bleach out. See, we not natural, brother, brother. Natural. Yeah, and that's what I mean. It's the mystic. It's the mystic. And the man, eloquence and intelligence and everything put together, the whole package. As I say, one of the most complete artists in the business. Have everything. Give thanks. Give thanks. Big up yourself. See, there you know. That's how I left it. No, 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 get up it. No? Sit down a little oh, bit, yeah. Right. For the people, for the people them out there who want to get in touch with the agent, for dub plates especially, and bookings for okay, all right, people so watch you have for them get in touch. Sasko Dubs at Gmail. Um, if you go up on my Instagram profile, you will see it. Um, and it's Agent Sasko Biz. It, yeah, the pan the panogram there, you don't know. But oh, okay. Yeah, Sasko dubs for the for the for the dub them, Sasko dubs at Gmail and or if you have a radio number, tall man, you don't know. Yeah. Mm. Sis what that mean? Watch it. But watch you know. <laughs> me I beg you, come you see me not ask another for that song we are talking about Hope River. Yeah. Winning right now. But about. tell them, teach them. I say we're winning right now. Oh yes, teach them winning right now. Why you forget the job fit the world you're living right now? Teach them. I say we're winning right now, yeah. Check, check, come on, so this agent Sask representing for teach them. Teach them! Well, I to reach them. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!